Sullivan to break. And it's Ronnie's turn to make a poor break off shot and catch the blue, but he hasn't left anything. And now the blue's finished up where it is there. It's a big target to get in behind now. Let's keep an eye on Mark Selby's head. Steve Davis was talking about maybe just getting up a little bit sooner than he normally does. He always moves around a little bit on the shot uh, when he's addressing the ball. It's something he's always done, not as much as he used to. Now, this would be a confidence booster if he can punch this one in. Uh, this was a superb shot at that pace. He is quite remarkable when he's so far behind. Eight. You can see his head just moving around slightly and his body slightly, but he's always done that. attitude when he is behind he's done it so many times that 17 almost becomes second nature to him and can somehow win this frame in one visit wow that would certainly put a few doubts into Ronnie's mind 24. Doesn't do much wrong. Yeah, he's sitting 25. there early and he's just thinking, well, all I want is one chance the way I'm playing. One chance and I'm in the semi-final. But at the moment, you can't pop balls if you're sitting in that seat. Thirty-three. Forty. Well, it's five reds, five blacks already. But I'm sure Mike Selby you're just thinking about winning the frame from this visit. And that 41. tells you straight away that he is purposely playing for the pink into the right centre. The red below the pink will pot into the bottom right corner pocket. Pink will go in the blue spot. And he'll be back up 47. for the pink here with a nice angle, hopefully. To split the reds. Forty good split now of this, Dennis, and we may be looking at five four. Yeah, you, you would think he was uh, leading five three the way he's playing here at the moment. And that could be very unlucky, unless that red at the back of the little bunch goes. He's very 54. unfortunate. You could play that same shot another 10 times and you'd finish on at least one or two reds. I mean, 
very unfortunate. Yeah, it's hard to believe that he didn't bring more reds into play there. Yeah, that's very, very tight. And the fact he's 54 in front, if he's not absolutely sure that he can pop this red, he's got to put a telling safety and he'd like to keep the break going. He might have to play it with a little touch aside, but. I think if he was dead straight behind that red, I think he could pot it because he just flick a little bit of right hand side on just to straighten up the angle. Is he, is he trying a double here? Can he see enough of the red? He's trying the double. He's got the double. Oh. What a shot. Fantastic. And he's played it in a wonderful way. I mean, look where the cue ball has landed. He sort of played it very cleverly as a shot to nothing. Once again, well, he's still got a pot on, but he's been a bit unfortunate for the white to 62. go tight on the side cushion. Mm. He's good curing this one. He's only a couple of pots away from getting another frame back. And at 5-4, it's game on again. Well, he's got to cue this in, and he's... Coming across the, the nap as well. This is a tough shot. Very, very tough. Sixty-three. Played it. Superbly well. That was an excellent shot. get the cannon and he's not safe just yet there's still enough there for Ronnie O'Sullivan he's a strong 17. strong favorite in this frame now but uh, if that little cannon had worked it was uh, end of frame this was the one here he just uh, caught it a bit thinner than he wanted But as I mentioned, those uh, colors with the blue up there is quite a good target to try and get in behind. Oh. Mark Selby, 70. the reds are now so Ronnie O'Sullivan's not quite out of this frame just yet one mistake from Mark and there's a counter attack on there's not a ball safe on the table at the moment I think you may be able to have a go with this red into the left hand corner pocket there is a gap between red and black back down towards the table a bit of luck here. Well, well I'll tell you what, <laughs> he's knocked so many long balls in. Because he's so far behind, he'll take this on. If this goes in, he's got a bit of a chance. <laughs> what a shot that is. Look at the, the 
Kissy got on the red as well, purposely played. Free up the pink. Seven. That red that's gone close to the side cushion, Dennis, that's not going to be a problem for Ronnie O'Sullivan because he's so good left-handed. Eight. Surely Mark Selby can't make a 70 break and lose a frame. And of course, it's not only the frame, it would be the match, but you wouldn't put it past his opponent. Ronnie O'Sullivan relishes 15. this sort of situation. Sixteen. Didn't want to kiss on the black, but he's okay. He can drop the pink in. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Oh, that's a great shot. Fantastic shot, Dennis. And an in a cute angle as well. <laughs> 30. What a climax we could have to this match. Because the red 31. is okay. Ronnie can switch hands if he drops in behind this last red. And he's got the perfect angle to do that. Well, what a finish this could be. Mark 38. Knows that this is finished a little awkward here. which was knocked up there at the start of the frame. Could be a little awkward, this next shot. To make sure he doesn't snooker himself with the blue. Oh, 48. This has been absolutely sublime so far. This could be one of the best frames ever seen. Having said that, he hasn't got on the brown as he wanted. He's got to go all the way around the table now. Where's the cue ball? Keep your eye on the cue ball. 55. <laughs> well, where does he play it? In the middle? And up into the corner. It's there, but he's still got a little bit to do. 60. Another good shot needed. Mark made a 70 break. Incredible. <laughs> 60 shots. <Absolutely> incredible. <laughs> Three.